What's up YouTube? Got one TTM in today. Um, if that's all you're going to be watching for, um, I'm showing it now. I got a few other pickups that I bought, but this is one of three. I guess I'm on the bottom of the pile all the time, but I get this to focus. There we go. So, pretty nice signature on a Crown Royal card. I got this card actually for free through a trade or a buy, purchase. I don't know what I where I got this from actually, but if I remember somebody throwing these in, I had like three of them. I don't know if it was even eBay, but one of three sent back my uh, letter, which I'll probably resend out. I don't know, I might send out maybe a jersey next year or something, but um, got two cards back. They were just for my set, but I don't care. Um, it's a signature, it looks really sick. All right, moving on, if you wanna keep watching, guys. I uh, picked up some stuff from NJ Grillo. Got this Elton Brand jersey, which I'm going to send out for TTM. Um, I don't really care that it's fake. And a lot of people are like, oh, it's fake, whatever. But I don't really care. My Sean Kemp was fake. And I knew it was. And he signed it anyway. Um, I told him if he had a preference when I sent it, I could send him another jersey. Which I did have another jersey at that time. But it wasn't the... These things go for a fortune. If you ever buy a lot of jerseys, the fabric numbers, you're looking at like 50 on up to like 100, especially for authentic or, you know, something that's older. Like a Sean Kemp jersey goes for a lot of money. I actually just sold one for oh, 50 or 60 bucks on eBay that I had gotten at Goodwill. And that's why I purposely bought it, just in case he didn't sign the, the fake one I bought. So anyway, enough rambling on that. Um, so I'm definitely going to send that one out. And I buy them knowing that. I'm not looking to resell them. So it's for my own personal collection. And if one day I kick the bucket. Well then, you know. It's somebody else's problem trying to resell it. Anyway, moving on. I got this Cal Ripken actually for myself. Plan on going down there. Uh, my aunt lives uh, not too far from the stadium. So I'll probably go down. I got a new hat too to match. Nice patch, kind of weird looking, but <laughs> it's got the Orioles on the front, the Oriole bird, and uh, I actually have an authentic one that I actually love, and a lot of people will say, oh, I love the jersey, and I actually got that one at Goodwill, too. That one's a Majestic, though, that I picked up a couple months ago. This is a Gary Carter, actually, been looking for one of these. I did not want to pay what was on eBay. Um... I actually bought another Expos jersey, and uh, it didn't fit, so now I have to resell it. Actually, if you guys are an extra large, you want to buy it from me, let me know. It doesn't look anything quite like this. It's actually the, well, I mean, if you're interested, let me know. I can show you pictures, but uh, this one's really sick. I had to have that one. That one fits perfect for me. This one I picked up off of eBay. This one's an authentic. Um, this thing's thick is all, I mean, this is heavy. No, I'm not looking to get them signed. But this is for like 15 bucks. The guy didn't want it. So I picked it up. The thing's just sick. The bill's there. The thing's just ginormous. But 15 bucks, an OJ Simpson jersey. If he ever gets out of jail, well then, you can sign that for me. Moving on. <laughs> so thanks to NJ Grillo. Um, great deal. Thank you very much. I did get him yesterday. So, um, show some random stuff that I picked up today. Um, pick these kicks up. These are probably the most expensive sneakers I've bought in so far. Besides collecting autographs, I do collect sneakers and jerseys and all sorts of stuff. But these are the Kobe All-Star Galaxies. I had to have these. Um, carbon fiber bottom there. They glow in the dark. I just thought these were sick. Um, the tips actually glow too inside. Things are just all around awesome for me. This is actually my first pair of Kobe's. Here's the other shoe. My sister tried them on and I about had a conniption. I don't know why she took it out of the box and then put her stinky little foot in it. On the dirty ground. I was like, oh, you could hear me like across the country gasping. Anyway, um, those are my pickups for today. My sneakers. I picked these up a long time ago. I never even wore them yet. Just on the box. Um, these LeBron Christmas edition from last year. 
Actually, I haven't worn these yet. I might switch out the laces. I'm not too thrilled about the green. But it's been hot, so I don't really wear sneakers when it's hot out. But the only reason I haven't worn them yet, it's been raining so much. The bottoms will yellow. So these are so crispy, clean. I don't know. I don't buy sneakers just to look at them, but <laughs> I actually do read, wear them. But So... I'm not a big fan of LeBron, but those are really comfortable sneakers. I have another pair that I bought used. Um, I actually fixed up. I got them for like 40 bucks. But, you know, people are like, oh, you're buying used sneakers. Well, they were gently used, okay? The guy wore them like two times. So, um, I actually picked these up at Goodwill for 8 bucks. This is what you can get. Got some $8, man. Some Jordans. Oops. Jordan 13s gray and whites the only issue here was right there at the bottom not too big an issue minor minor wear I mean these things are so clean the insides actually still have the jump man a goodwill pickup I mean come on the only issue was the toe box actually right there well I've worn these but from 2004 so the holograms kind of a little bit but those were a good buy for eight dollars. If you love Jordans, I mean, Goodwill is a great place to go. And then I picked these up for a bit more. The red and whites. Uh, these weren't quite so pristine as the other ones. I actually had to really work at it. You can semi see the jump man in there. Um, I had to really. These were beat, but I brought them back to life a little bit. They only have an issue. I still have to fix this a bit right here. Um, but these are 2010s and the other ones are 2004. So there's a big difference between the material. So I had to have... I'm still looking for the flints in my size. They're so popular that it's ridiculous. So anyways, that's it. My randomness of pickups and my obsessions, as we all do have. So I'm probably going to break into one of these moon pies and... Uh, that's it, guys. If you kept watching, thank you. Peace. Oh, yeah, I'm going to the Phillies Festival. So, um, haven't been, never been before. So, I got tickets Monday. And, uh, I know Wesker Griff, you go, right? So, uh, if you're watching this, see you there, man. Um, so I bought three tickets. Hopefully, I'll meet somebody pretty awesome. I was going to do Mike Schmidt, but 50 bucks is kind of, I'm over, I'm out of money. <laughs> so anyways that's it and I'm going to the Bills game home opener so that's where all my money is going and that's it enough rambling <laughs>